He said, what do you, what do you say? You're, you're a garbage Canadian? Uh, yeah, and I can't say the second part. Oh, yeah. <laughs> True. <laughs> only, in, only in Steam comments. All right, well, yeah. we survived that. We're back into it. Appreciate you guys and your patience and your commitment to Counter-Strike. We're going to go ahead and just restart the entire game. It didn't count. Let's ice skate over towards B-side. This time, it's a new strat. They're not going for the same thing here. Shocks. He it looks like they're going to go for a full exec, basically. Just keep it super simple. Push off Cat. Apex is going to shoot him back, and they destroy Frozen in the back of the B-site. Apex is going to find oh, another headshot. Jesus. So things going swimmingly for Yo. Vitality. Five guys alive with a bomb plant. It is only B-Mass. He is not going to be able to do anything in this pistol. Oh, my. Oh, man. That's insane how fast they're getting these entries. Like We saw an Inferno on that T pistol. They're coming out of spawn. All the CTs ran down mid. Got mowed down in about three seconds. It was kind of like that. Kill feed was all blue in the wrong ways. BMS instantly gets gushed. These guys are absolutely on the gear right now, just flying out. Okay, but here is here is the immovable object. BMS is going to try to hold, runs low on bullets, and Vitality win the pistol. Oh, look at that ice skate. Yeah, I guess it's more of like a hoverboard, like something out of Star Wars. This is a great replay. I'm, I actually saw him come out of spawn. I didn't really think that production would follow him this hard, but... I I'm, appreciate it. I'm super grateful about it. We got Zenyatta in the server. <laughs> All right. Oh, Jesus, Apex. Well, I guess that just happened. We could shot up through the door. Spotted three as well. Gonna have to sit a little closer to your monitor. Wow. Dodge shots like that one. We do get damage back the other way, of course. Most sports still with a scout and deagles on the play. If I'm Vitality, I don't just write them off. Got to be cautious. Or accurate. One of the two. Cautious or accurate. And accuracy seems to be the name of the game for Apex, at least. Ziwu will find BMAS. Wow, these guys are getting melted down like a cheese stick in the microwave. No matter how many times you say it, it still sounds disgusting. <laughs> Navera, he's going to peek out through middle, find a kill versus Frozen, so we are just going through the movements. And nobody from Mouse Sports is able to fight back. Deagles! Oh, it's instant headshots whenever you see one of these Vitality players. Here it is, the first shot flick up. Bow! Rops is gone. Life of the B player right here. Bow! That was sick. Yep. That's tough. I mean, you can't really game plan around that, right? That's just uh, a nice shot being hit. A series of nice shots in both rounds so far. Chris J looking around like he had no clue where he was. Yeah. What year is it? How do we Mid get by shots like that? Frag grenades into middle find nothing because mouse sports have gone entirely over towards long A. They will be given nothing. And in fact, Shocks is going to be so far back. Okay, how many how many does Shocks get? Mm, I'm going two. for two and a half. Two, one, and a second. Three kills, four kills for Shocks. Easy anti eco. He gets taken down to six health in the meantime. But there was that nice little distraction with a player at top mid as well. If he was on his own, it probably would have not been so easy. Kerrigan's been spotted. Apex gonna run away from him. Flees the scene like it's nobody's business. And vitality. I mean, it's all fun in games to talk about how like cool these clean these eco rounds are. But the real story is just how much money they made off these first three rounds. They've not lost a player in the last two. It's important to do that echoing damage. Rops is opping. Chris is opping. We see Rops get a five shot ace with an AWP on CT side dust two the other day. Five uh, for five. Yeah, yeah. So that's a that's pretty cool. I think there, you know, he can definitely have impact here with his AWP on CT side. No oh. doubt about it. Let's see if it comes into fruition. B mass on short. They flash the presence, but BMS sticks around. 
is. Ooh, this is fast. Oh. Four players gonna be charging out oh, from tunnels. Splash. Frozen tries to dodge. Zewu's right on top of him. Rops in the windowsill. Has his head taken clean off. And Dude. that Mac 10 is just tearing it up. They had guns. Already peeking down into the bottom of middle. He finds the shot onto Chris. Zewu is a force to be reckoned with. He is a little frustrated that RPK took all his kills last map. He wants to get his stats back. Wow. And BMAS, he really doesn't have much to Dude, offer us in this go one. Friggin' incognito to watch this game. This is insane. They're destroying. That was a MAC 10 headshot on the Opper. And then the second guy also didn't have head armor. And they're going to try to retake B with two ops. There's a really good stat strat from Vitality first off. The last thing you want on CT side when you have two ops is for someone to rush B. And they use the MAC-10 to perfection. Those two flashes that land at the front of the tunnels as they enter in were so insane. They looked gorgeous. B-Map. B-Map once again. Last alive, and he can't win his duel versus Nevera. One kill in the last three rounds. Damn, this is not a pretty scene. If you're cheering from the Mouse Sports camp. 4-0 the start for Vitality. Damn, dude. We have Nevera, Zewu, Apex, and RPK, all with zero kills. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> Let me try that again. <laughs> zero deaths. Okay. They have zero deaths. Oh, wow. Although RPK, as yeah. I named him, also has zero kills and zero assists. He's just got nothing going for him. Interesting. But it's not a problem because he is essentially a walking, talking bank account. $8.9 thousand dollars in Cash. the bank. Meanwhile, you want to talk about zeros? Okay. No kills for Frozen, Chris, or Kerrigan. Four rounds deep. One kill on Robson B-Mass, yeah. essentially. No, I mean, that matters, Nothing. Right? You've got to at least, sports. you've got to get a couple of kills on the Ecos. At least a couple, right? That's, it's so important. You got to curb that team bank account. And, um, gotta cut down the cash. I don't think, you know, do you have the two op setup, uh, two op option next round after you, you save here? Not with any kills as well. I mean, that kill bonus actually does mean you'll be able to buy some more guns. It doesn't make, make a huge impact, but it, it will in a game like this. So, really well, horrible start to say the least here for Mouse Sports. Did two cross without a smoke? Yes, sir. Interesting. Oh, they missed their smoke. Ooh, that's what not is good. What's going on? I guess they just had the they had just have pistols anyway, so whatever. But again, yeah, trying to get a couple of kills if possible. Maybe attempting the NOA boost. Looks like uh, someone knows. <laughs> and that's someone. It's not a nobody. It's Zewu. Zero deaths. They're gonna wait this out. Coming up, cat. They're gonna see it. Ooh, no, and it worked. Kill. Yeah, that's nice. Very cool. Mouse. Oh, ouch. Oh, that nade just fell out of his face. Just falls from the sky. Apex learning about gravity. Now he has CTE. Bonked him on the noggin and ROPS. Just sitting back here on the B site. Closest rotate will be frozen down in spawn. So ROPS would have to go above and beyond. First eagle shot is good. Fire at his feet. Fire from his barrel. Two kills off of the Deagle, but it's Apex now to answer. It's actually a four versus two in the post plant Quite for Mouse Sports. They've got an AK on Chris J. They've got Kevlar all around them. No kit, frozen pistol kill. Let's see it, Ziwu. Zero deaths so far, but he gets pestered by the tunnel's presence. And we have Mouse Sports on the board in the most unlikely of rounds. Shout out to Big Ropsicle. Gets the two frags with a deagle and Frozen winning his duel as well. That could have been a situation that falls apart if they don't get tunnels control. So everything falls into place perfectly. And here's the one. Boom. A legal hit to the back of the head. Rops, deagles. Ooh. This recovery too. Left peak. Oh, that's disgusting. Really? Okay, that's a that's a good way to fund your op habit. Win a win a round where you were saving two ops again. Let's give it another shot. Apex to the long play. Ooh, tries to remain. Nice late flashes there from Mouseboards. 
in control of the situation, but yeah, that's it right there, that late flash. You can see how long he was looking into the wall because he really was trying to retain vision. I think this boot, this push is so overpowered with an AWP. I'm really glad to see it. And look at the control they have now. They just have info deep in B. They know there's no one lurking at that spot. RPK doesn't have to move, but they're still losing so much map control. And Frozen can just face forward here on the mid split. So a lot of great options here for Mouse Sports in the 5v4. They seem, uh, they seem like they're trying to trying to pull this push forward, but they still might lose. Is the thing because it's it's the op. So, what happens now? Walk back over towards Long, and they will be met by Bmas in the pit. He was in the pit, and now he changes position. Going to get a little closer to the doorway. Tuck up behind it. Team Vitality hoping they can crumble the defense from Catwalk. Kerrigan does move down into the CT spawn, but now he's got some reservations. 15 seconds. Here comes the commitment. It's Shocks on the forefront, Chris J on the op. Flash is flying over. Kerrigan has to dodge that, and he could just put this AUG barrel to the side of three players. That, ooh, initial frag does some good damage, and they are stranded. Two seconds to spare. Mouse Sports cuts them down without a bomb plant, and those double ops are able to move forward. How, how did Frozen get those kills as they were crossing Cat? And did, did it come down to two seconds before they actually tried to the attempt on the plant? Like, they didn't even have enough time to plant? Not really. Look right wow. there. Oh, there it is. Four seconds on the play. An absolute mow down here. They would have had to have gotten their plant right then and there. It's that 90 degree crossfire. Perfect. Frozen just unleashes the hellfire. Well, that's a good couple of rounds here for Mouse Sports, for sure. That's, uh, that'll get you kick-started. Chris and Rop still on the ops. They didn't know about that upper push, and, and that means that, you know, Mouse Sports, that might be something they want to try to implore again. Yep. Since it goes unchecked. Apex was just going for some shots through mid doors. This was kind of drawing VMAS towards him, but then with the lower players, VMAS knew better. Kerrigan goes for the spam fight through the doorway, comes out on the bottom end of that to health, keeping him alive. So he just sinks back into the depths of the CT spawn. Apex flashing around the corners of Catwalk. He's not going to find anybody close, but it is still territory conceded to the T side. Kerrigan's grenade, not bad. Could have been way worse, but the trajectory tells him exactly what Apex needs to know. And he focuses forward to finish off Kerrigan. Still the opposite position. Well, there's a nice tactic to score back a frag. It was on a low Kerrigan, but a necessary kill nonetheless. They know he's a critical component here, floating between A and B. He'll be their primary defense between the mid splits. They're just getting information, and it looks like one is coming quickly. 35 seconds on the clock. Two CTs and B1 opping, dropped up to bat. Ooh. He gets one. What a trade from RPK, though. Frozen, given the duel, tries to spin that one into the window peak. Almost recovers in time for Nevera. But a nice little bit of timing there from Vitality. They let him jump the gun. Chris J in with an op kill, and that one comes at no cost. Then there's Nevera posted in the windowsill with the Molotov in front of him. He goes for the reaggression, and he doesn't get punished. But the utility could still make the difference. Mouse Sports, they're on the cusp of this bomb site. You can see their smoke go forward. Flashbangs to follow with it. BMAS, he's going to run in, or at least try to, skating over towards Car. It's a shutdown from those last two players of Vitality. The Ops making the difference. I think the flashes work, but BMAS gets caught on something coming into the site, and he just needs to be free to make space. But yeah, the two Ops, that's tough. That's nice actually shot. an incredible trade by RPK. He really didn't have much time to hit that shot. Or, Rops, I pretty much pre-fires the tunnel and then drops down and still dies, so... That's a pretty, pretty beastly move by the tank. And uh, yeah, the, well, it'll still be okay for Mouse Sports from the perspective that they can try their same setup again. It's kind of very expensive setup. I, I do think it makes sense to, oh, that's so unlucky. The one through the door, Apex is low, but credit to Apex, a really great headshot there in response and, and the middle of the site's cracked open again. The middle of the map, I should say. Frozen's looking to recover. 
But again, it's a quick trade frag into the B site. RPK closing that distance. Kerrigan posting on tunnels. Zewu buys a little bit of time before he goes for the peak. And that gives Kerrigan an individual duel. Flash goes high, but Kerrigan goes in prior to it popping. Mouse Sports in an awkward position at a man disadvantage. And they don't quite know where exactly all of Vitality are at. So much utility here for Vitality to take the B site. This is a very daunting retake if they even give it a thought. But they get closer. And they do have the utility to completely counter Apex from the situation. He is all the way back in T-spawn still. Shocks. Having only come in for map two. He's doing well enough. Zewu on the box gets the headshot into Chris. Finding... The win in the off duel. BMAS on the windowsill. He's going to be able to get himself one. No Zewu's pinned into the corner. Peeks out, gets him. Oh, no, now he's Apex, he's called into the action. BMAS, he's sitting on the kit. Doesn't quite know where the player's off at. And you can see him scrambling here. Not quite sure what to shoot at. Apex able to come from the other side of the map in the nick of time. Because poor BMAS outplayed himself. No way, he could have actually gotten that... Uh, just had to stick behind the he, column. He could have had to stick behind the column and also even just hit the shot. Apex, he works really hard to get that kill. It takes him a second or two. Some really great trades on the entry. It's always difficult to perform these uh, B retakes. It's becoming more and more viable these days. You can't really write teams off when they are attempting, especially in the 2v2, with some decent utility. But that being said, it takes heroics, straight up heroics from... Uh, from Mr. BMAS. Now we get an opening kill from Zewu punishing Kerrigan for his pick, or not even his pick. He was just trying to establish a molly inside of long doors, maybe to cross, maybe just to fall back. But this quickly opens the round up for Vitality. It feels like this higher tempo is working out a little bit better. The early entry into B last round, one pick on mid here. We've got one on long. Full blown execute. They've got, uh, got more options than Denny's. Yeah, Chris. He's going to try to find something to hang on to. Has no clue if there's players coming up around long. Has the silencer, but wow. Awareness. Zewu smacks that scope right into him. And RPK is going to have the rest of Mouse Sports pinned in position. Little flashbang over the top, not a problem. It's a question of whether or not Vitality want most sports to get away with anything. They've got no money after the fact. So these guns, so important to hang on to. Oh, man. They'll dump the utility to try and keep these T's at bay. The lobster pinch is coming. The Trident Pierce. Three avenues of assault. Mouse sports locked in. Cowering in the trenches. Looking to hang on as the bomb pops. The push comes through. And Navera's gonna find one. RPK takes one. Zewu closes. Everybody dies for Mouse Sports. And this is becoming a very rough position. Oh, that's a good angle on that. It's, you know, handover phase, trying to peek for the Molly. Ends up dying, and, and Zewu continues with his reign of terror. Three kills. And plus the exit, or three in total? I don't know. But it's most of the kills. That's the important part. Nut stuff. Save here for Mouse Sports with just the. Just the one scout on Frozen. That's all they've got to work with. Every opening tactic here from Vitality has gone so well. Wow, the pre-aim from Rob into suicide. That was nicely done, but it's just, uh, that's all he'll get. Readjustment here from Nevera on that spray control. That'll result in a second frag, and that leaves Kerrigan and BMAS to try to push. Nice. I say try, it's effective. But so is Zewu, and RPK as well to close this. An eighth round for Vitality's T side. Wow. Money back for Mouse Sports. Let's see if these guns can make a difference. Let's see if they can stunt what has been nothing. Unfortunately, but success for Vitality. It's survival mode now. They've got to survive the first 30 seconds of the round. If they can try to make it longer, then they can talk about other stuff. But at this point, it's not anything trick like it's not anything too innovative coming out of Vitality, right? Very simple openings. Once they got lucky, that AK down mid on ROPS. That was a little bit lucky, but Zewu, you know, flashing out long on a T-spawn to get a kill. Props his headshot is actually pretty sick. Um, plus the early B picks and things. I think what's good about Vitality is this, they're constantly keeping it fresh with these openings, and they're a bit hard to read on the tempo, like what time they're going to try to peek out. That's a question mark. <laughs> Uh, Deagle sounds awesome in slow motion. So good. So good. Two ops again. 
Have at it. It's an expensive habit. But if you've got the money... Ziwu up on the box, turns his side to Kerrigan. That's going to cost him. Quick trade frag back from Shocks and Tunnels. There is another CT on the other side. That's one of two Oppers, Rops. Chris J, of course, calling his from long into the CT spawn. Vitality's affinity for this B site has not cost them anything so far. Cool as a cucumber. No matter where they go. They double bomb back through the T-spawn. It shall travel. They're tethering off this, this mid-presence so they can run through spawn, not get spotted, and turn this... What might be the CTs a supposed B hit into an A swing and uh, see what this means. Got a flash lined up for long from Apex. That's nice to cover everything. Won't be won't be uh, hearing any pins getting pulled, and now the CT pushes in. This is the critical moment of the round. BMS clearing inwards, but it's shocks with the headshot. And this is the only piece of control the CT oh, have. Oh, and he jumps course. down. Chris J just came forward on catwalk as well to try and find him. And he dodges. They're not oh, quite man. sure if that was only one player in position. Sure enough, now they know. Chris, gonna take some follow-up damage. Apex looking to wrap around the catwalk. This would find two players with their backs turned. Maybe. So it could spell absolute disaster. If Mouse Sports have any hesitation moving inwards, well, oh, that's actually massive. Now it's a man advantage, and this is gonna instill a bit of confidence for the retake. They've got a kit on Frozen. They've got a player back on long. That's RPK towards Platt, and Nevera finds timing on that first peak. But RPK's AK, Mm, can they get the better of it? Oh, he that goes right amazing. back so out and a fade away. Damn, that was amazing from RPK. Holy sh... Shiitake mushrooms. That uh, Shiitake mushrooms. That was juicy. That was... Wow, that was amazing from RPK. I love the mechanics of that. That was just something Catching else. Catching that like... flank right here, Frozen, turning his head around. Apex is what served as a trigger I... for that retake. And look at this. Oh, man. Look I at mean... that. It's the, the second shot makes the first whole ordeal looks, look even better, but I love how he deals with the opera with that first spray in and then the, the fallback instant repeak kind of in between cycles there. That's so sick. He that just spanked him. Dirty stuff, dirty stuff. They had some outs in that round having Apex coming in for the flank, so, you know, losing that kill, you'd think, well, it, this is all going to go sour. But that's not the case. BMAS boosted on catwalk, long completely clear for the taking, and Vitality already know it. And as long as they move forward, I don't think Nevera has to. So he'll just stick around in the tunnels. Kerrigan's going inwards. Look at the ice him out. But they had already given up on that boost, so there was nobody to trade Nevera as he extends into Kerrigan. Now the CTs move ever closer. But patience, the name of the game for Vitality. That bomb will find the A site open. Oh, man. And uh, they've they just... gone ahead to add a 10th round of the scoreboard, assuming Mouse Sports don't throw some crazy Hail Mary. Look at this. Oh, Apex. He's going to walk uh -oh. in behind them. He doesn't take that first shot, so now the CTs know. Oh, they know man. that they're pinched between two positions, but Apex, his aim is still on point. Dies out to the P250. Nevera will be left still in tunnels. Bomb on ramp, 30 seconds. What can they do about this? Really not much. Not with that kill now. Ziwu's going to have support with two players on long, and what's left of Mouse Sports pushes into tunnels. Bomb has been planted. All right. And Nevera on janitorial duty. But uh, he can't find the spill. In fact, the spill will animate. Walk over into the playground. And it's unlikely that They'll be found. It's not necessary to get these kills, though. They've got the armor and the pistols, but no upgrades. Another clean round from Vitality. They go full Dishonored mode and walk up um, without giving away anything. No flash, no, no, uh, no, no footsteps. They just cool their way into the site. Act like they own the place. Sometimes that's the best way to go. Three rounds to end this half. Vitality are in fire, and... Uh, that everything they're doing is working. They look very fresh so far on the T side. I'm not going to say it's been an uh, incredible T side from a tactical perspective. 
I think they're just doing a good job of introducing variety and uh, like and hitting their shots. Like they're going for a lot of different openings and they're all winning their opening duels as well. It's nothing all that special so far from what we've seen. Absolutely on point. That's been Vitality on Dust 2 in a nutshell. Haven't seen a single flub spray. Hell, even Apex recovers that last round when he could have toppled them. Man, is that part of the wall wall bangable? Wally bangable. I don't know. Eva. Wally. <laughs> Off shot. Nice. Up, Chris. Come on, Mouse Sports. 5v4. Let's go. Let's do something. Make a half of it. Believe in the comeback. Believe in yourselves. Fire up the game a little because this is just vitality trouncing you. There's no no way to sugarcoat it. They have been an absolute punching bag so far. But they finally score the coveted opening kill on Nevera. Looks like a B split uh, is on the cards. Kerrigan is on the right side of mid. So we'll see what his presence means, if it will be limited or not. You know Frozen's always good for one, at least. Hard angle for him. And, oh, that's some Multi beautiful kill. stuff from Kerrigan. Bomb, Bomb is drops. now in their hands. That's a gift. An additional fight to go down towards tunnels. RPK will be killed. Five alive for Mouse Sports. Okay. It is not too late to recover. Best case, five rounds to ten. But they need to make sure they close this out with everybody alive and then continue to get these kills. You know, when Mouse Sports have stayed 5v5, yes. they've been able to bring the rounds close, right? Like, sometimes I think for them it's not even necessarily about trying to get the kill as opposed to not get killed, but just to not peek some of these angles because, it, uh, yeah, when they played it cool and they've waited, Vitality have been uh, working badly with the clock. They come, came up late on that first round win to try to plant on the A site, but because no one peeked them, they had such a, such a difficult time. So that might be the secret for Mouse Sports. But of course, it's really hard to deny yourself um, the aggression on Dust 2, because sometimes the teams will just take it and run with it if you're not there. Oh, Apex is certainly running. Straight down into the pit. Look at all these players. Kerrigan, he's going to find himself a multi-kill. Locking down long. Those are hella good flashes, man. Even though the first CT dies, the last two Ts that come out, Kerrigan is set up so well to deal with them because of how, the, how late those flashes are. Well, that's most certainly what they needed. See if they can hang on to the man advantage. It's not the 5v5 early, but it's still something. We've had a fight and then a walk away. Everybody's cooling off. Contemplating if they want to go another round and Rops. Well, he just got wrecked by Ziwu, who's going to scope Yo. in and take down Chris J. Back to back off no. headshots, and Ziwu's not missing. He's up to 17 and 5 now. Absolute perfect performance on Dust 2. An 11th round for Vitality, because Kerrigan is so far away, he'll never get a chance at this retake even. Ziwu, shot after shot after shot, lines him up, knocks him down. Man, he takes just, Vitality the distance. He's precise. He's precise. Oh my god. Man, Rops was so ready for him, too. He left nothing up to question, right? The peaks were absolutely perfect, and uh, oh, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> well, it could have been a different fate, but instead we see this. Should take his knees off. Z Float, one more. No, Kerrigan's oh. going to shut him down. All right, a little life in Kerrigan. Kerrigan was the answer. Obviously, Bomb's still going to pop off, so this is an 11th round regardless of whether Kerrigan can save, but he would be on for the ace. I think he should go for it, to be honest. Oh, that is a message and a half. RPK, who was the king of Inferno, denies Look. Kerrigan his, this is so sadly, perfect. meaningless ace. That was so perfect. That second shot was absolutely ridiculous. We got auto snipers on the field. You almost can't blame any of them for setting up in the exact positions. You know, maybe Frozen is the one who takes the biggest risk, but at that point, <laughs> it's too scary for him to go back and sit in the site and wait, right? Sure. He's got to take some kind of risk. Risk? So, 11-3 to three last round of the half, and I think this one is for 
the confidence of mouse sports. No, it'll be a bad half no matter what, but at least they can show themselves that they could maybe get a game plan victory because so far it's just been way too easy from Vitality, even when things start off badly. I'd really like to know how much damage that does. You'd think, you know, intuitively, you wouldn't want to spam that wall. I haven't tested that myself, but... It really doesn't look like it's going through. Just barely. Corner still looks fine. Hmm. We'll get in there, we'll do some research. For now, we just have to watch as Vitality attempt to conquer the A site yet once more. RPK hits the floor. It's frozen to open up shop. Kerrigan's got himself a head shot as well. And, well, there's the follow-up. Nicely done, Kerrigan. Just wrapping around on the ramp, giving Mouse Sports a two-man advantage. Let's watch them attempt to get that fourth round on the board. It's Apex and Shox they have to best. And Apex, well, he can't quite finish up his kill. So it's all on Shoxy. And he's got three bodies rounding the side of the smoke. Wild spray into the second. Had he just tapped for those headshots, then maybe. But it's not meant to be. Mouse Sports with a fourth round. Whether or not it's enough, well, you'll have to come back to find out. Sports in a dire situation after losing their own map choice of Inferno and now going down 11 to 4. On the CT side of Dust2, they will now take to the offense to try and bring back this game. Do we believe? Uh, not really. I, I'm, you know, riding with the game to see where it brings us. But the way I look at it right now is Mouse Sports are not getting them to that next level where they have to try harder. And then we see the interesting or innovative stuff come out in the rounds. The entries are just going a bit too well here for Vitality. But we switch over to the second half. We'll see if Mouse Sports can show us a different face. But yeah, my hopes aren't too high. It feels like Vitality are straight up outclassing them so far here on Inferno and Dust2. Vitality feeling like one of the best teams in the world. Individuals just all on point. Nevera here inside of the B site. He's got four players more ahead of him. Ziwu combining already for some kills. And Nevera, well, he's going to get iced out by Frozen. We've got Frozen and Chris J in the two versus three. Bomb's been picked back up. Vitality going to move two bodies around towards tunnels. So this does give time to Chris to plant. But he wastes a little bit of time going for that first fake out. Now the CTs are in position. Frozen, he's got a little bit of momentary cover, but Chris J getting shaven down to 41 health. The CTs have the advantage, and they've also got the round. It's a 12th now for Vitality. Defuse comes through, and Mouse Sports, now the pressure's really on. Sucks when Shox is on the mark as well. That's a 12th round up. Could have been a winning retake situation. I guess post plant for them. But uh, Shox grabs both, a nice shot. And cleanup, doesn't need any help whatsoever. This will force a buy, you would assume. Especially here on Dust2, Eco is entirely possible, but T-Side maybe a bit. Actually, with the plant, what am I talking about? They're just gonna have to try to stop this, I guess, at 13. Are they investing at all? Looks like we have an AK buy. Yes, sir. Looks like they're gonna do the coveted armored AKs. Yeah. Two armored AKs. Could be. Something, yeah, okay, so there's one more dropped. Anybody else? You don't necessarily... Looks like... Okay, they're gonna buy whatever they can with two, two AKs. AKs. Out. Deagles. Some, some, uh, some utility being bought. That's all you really need on the T side. Again, we saw what a 5v4 meant for Vitality in the first half. The same will be said for Mouse Sports in the second. Now, they've got a very heavy B spawn. I, I, you know, wouldn't be crazy if they just tried to use it, but we'll see. Two players going out on a default, maybe. Kerrigan did a hell of a job to find those, you know, multi-kills in the first half. Didn't always result in a round, but I was quite impressed. With his, uh, his sprays. To say the least. Oh, look who's comfortable inside of long. Well, he sees a bit too much, but nice not, not overextending there, right? Yeah, it's right, like, right on the cusp of making a mistake. If that was Kerrigan, he'd be flanking B by now. He really pushed it as far as he could. Kerrigan has been able to slip out through the mid doors, has ROPs alongside him. But obviously Vitality very much aware that the mid play could be conceded. It's all about stopping it once the commitment happens. That's why Apex just tucks behind the box. 
anticipating these exact smokes. So, does he get flashed through it? Does he just wait, walk through dry? He has options, and so do Mouse Sports. 50 seconds still on the clock. A smoke and a Molotov on their tool belts. Shock's inside of the B site, looking like he wants to go peeking and prying down into the middle. Three T's looking to commit out from tunnels, and sure enough, now that hit comes through. Oh. B-Mass, big double kill. Getting one player off of the bomb site, but then also denying Shock's up close after he took a shot to the face from the M4. Very good round for Mouse Sports. Crucial timing, because let's be real, they are trailing by far too many rounds to give up any more for free. They need to stop this CT side right now. Shox dips his toes into that smoke like it was just some refreshing water. You see, I just kind of walked forward into it. I mean, maybe he's trying to catch some kind of weird timing, but it leaves Ziwu now, RBK back in pit. Some good entries and takeover of the B site quickly. That was the remedy to the situation. Props up the economy now of Mouse Sports. So, you know, for what it's worth, you know, Vitality, they win the pistol round, but they don't win the conversion. And it's a very healthy situation here for both teams. But a seven round discrepancy, it's going to be a hard thing to overcome. Especially when, I mean, for me, I'm looking forward a lot to vi what Vitality will bring on the CT side. I feel like uh, not enough credit can, you know, you can't, under you can't um, underscore enough how much Vitality think about when it comes to their CT sides and how many looks that they bring to each map. And especially since they've brought some special attention to Dust2 because of Nevera, I think that's where it's taken their Dust2 to, to another level. And, you know, not many teams can say that on Dust2. It's a hard map to be consistent on. I just enjoy having a conversation about, you know, what a team can bring to the table when they have that sixth player. Mm -hmm. You just... It's like, your, it's like your toolbox is that much deeper. They found someone who likes Dust2. So I think, what the hell is that? That's just Ziwu. Killing Rops through a smoke with And that's why Rops shots. never peeks. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the one time I try to go aggressive. That's what happens. Catch me next round. This man literally got tagged twice through the smoke. He'll be in the tunnels at the 15 second mark. Refusing oh, to leave. Oh, that lean is coming in. Desert. RPK in the pit. Won't be easy to get into this A site, but they will try. And they shuffle Apex into Goose. Frozen does get the better of RPK, so now Long is compromised. Oh! What is that? The jumping scout. Everybody's classic favorite. And now Frozen, also going to fall at the hands of Vitality. What? Joey, cue it up. <laughs> okay, first of all, this is just mean. <laughs> wow. <laughs> He's like, I know you're here, and I know you're going there. And then this. Wait, he hit him twice, too. No way. He hit him. Oh, it looked like he Run this hurt. back one yeah. more time, please, if we don't mind. Oh, my God. Did he? Yeah. Watch the health. Yep. Oh, my God. He oh, hit my God. Those are, he sh oh my, oh my god. Uh, uh, I have to sneeze. Yeah, allergic to scout shots like that, I don't blame you. Bless you. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Wow. I don't know, should we be excited for that? Or upset about it. Or upset about it. I mean, a little the bit nerf of both. was specifically so that the apex yeah. of your jump, well, you're supposed to be accurate with the scout. The shots against ROPS, that, that, we just gotta be excited about that one. Completely predicts the first one and then anticipates the exact route and timing he would take to try and escape. That was just gross. Prescience. The third and fourth one, I think I'm a little more upset. <laughs> but I'm still smiling, so... It's, yeah, it's amazing. I don't know what this feeling is, but I'll run with it. Let's... Vitality, they are very comfortably in the lead, very comfortable doing as they please. And most sports on their knees begging for mercy. They will not be eliminated from this loss, but they will be sent sailing into the lower bracket. Most sports, they run the gauntlet at our blast showdown where there were no second chances. So I guess they've earned themselves that at least. But Vitality looking like heavy favorites in this form. It's an attack on the A site. Apex just gonna try to cower in the cover, jump back over to the ramp, and he does escape the initial bit of threat here from Mouse Sports, but Kerrigan's still on the side. Oh, 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 oh Apex 
<laughs> he just snaps that crosshair over, clears the two players up close. There's a third player and Rob's on the box, frozen over on Gandalf. And the only man who could stop Apex, yeah. Zewu. Little team kill in the mix, just so he can get above 20 frags this round. Shock's gonna pepper Chris J so that he's stuck in cover. And Zewu looking for that last HP from Frozen. He will take them all down. It is nine rounds, the lead. Well, this recover is his, you know, average performance, which is below average for normal people. <laughs> Look at that headshot in BMAS. Very unfortunate for BMAS, I would say. If you don't laugh, you will cry. 14 to 5. No money. But is there hope? Nope. Probably not. Just playing. I mean, they're playing to win in some sense, looking for this next round to try to come back to it. They're going to take a pseudo pause here in the spawn and try to pull off what no man has done before the triple boost with no wall to lean on. Vitality are not messing around. No, I mean, I honestly, it's not that I, I feel personally disappointed with, you know, Mouseport's performance. It just, it feels like Vitality are completely unstoppable right now. They look amazing. I mean, this, this makes the potential next match for them in the yeah. bracket even more interesting. Of course, you've got uh, Astralis versus Na'Vi coming up next. And then the winner of that will play against Vitality if Vitality win this series. And they'll have to look at this game and, and kind of be like, damn, there's not even a lot of game footage here to, to look no. at. They were barely trying. This is like the appetizer for our second best of three. It's like the breadsticks you don't really want to eat, but they're there on the table. Yeah, it's just like unlimited, so you just keep eating them. So we'll finish this one off soon enough. It feels Mouse Sports, I mean, literally only Glocks. Let's be real with one another. They will be chewed up by shocks. Three kills on the anti-eco little pepper fire. So Nevera is gonna take down that Pepper last fire, player. That's a new one. Yeah, like leaves that. him salty too. I like that one. Going where no man has gone before here. The triple boost. The classic no me, no me, no, no me. You you crutch, and then they just start jumping. Then they don't even think about the boost. And he's like, that wasn't the strat, guys. You were supposed to crouch, Robs. <laughs> we're gonna do the two man run boost over long, throw him through the doors. Jokes aside, ten rounds, guys for most sports to try and return the favor. The Vitality just looking cut from a different cloth. They're gonna barrel out onto the long smoke into Ziwu, oh who God. almost finds a third one through the doorway. At no point in this second half has it felt like most sports were gonna bring the game back. Maybe a little bit when they won round two on the force, but then we saw Vitality just strip it right away from them, so yeah. it was very much short-lived. Round two was the last time that we felt like Mouseforts were win gonna win this game. Oh, there's an answer back. There's a chance. Okay. They can extend the length of the game. Yeah, this is just, uh, yeah, I mean, they're gonna avoid Nevera. Well, he's gonna spot this, but he doesn't see anyone coming out mid, so I think this is him understanding what's oh, up. Let's see how long they take. Could be an awkward situation. Nevera, uh -oh. Enough, that's three players dying so far this round by running through smokes. Just a bit disjointed now, and, and oh, look who's look who's in lower tunnels on this off angle. That's Bombs the bomb down. dropped. Robs has the element of surprise. He's got that going for him at least. Let's see it. Robs versus RPK, met by an incendiary. Smoke goes down, 35 seconds, flash on top of it, and Robs will keep it going. Mouse sports. It is slim. I mean... But there's a chance. They should build a statue of him in lower tunnels if that's the reason that they're able to win this game. But, of course, you know, hope continues to be slim. Do you see that spray from, from Ziwu? That was disgusting. The 2K spray down right off the bat. A little bit of frustration here from Apex. I don't remember where he died. Two ops. Shocks. And Ziwu joined forces. They're going to stand back to back. Navera is going into the lower tunnels. He's got an M4. Interesting. He's been the higher guns for this uh, AWP, but he's making a different style of play. They're going to peek right into him. He knocks down the base of the totem pole. BMAS moves forward a little bit. I think anything that weakens the push powers up these ops significantly. So 
Oh, there was a chance for both players to shoot. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Zoo, just going to make sure nobody crosses. This opens up Frozen for the cat play. An exchange of grenades and a gentleman's agreement to just back off. Well, they're reading this incorrectly, so it's going to be Shocks alone in the B site with the AWP. Track we'll get, one on smoke. Oh, they're so far behind, but... Yep, but the mid-peak, that's... Oh, not going to work out at all, Shocks. 23 and 12 here, coming into map two like he didn't miss a beat in this series. Two versus four post plant, four mouse sports to desperately hang on to their chances in the upper bracket. Team Vitality looking to intimidate Chris J. He's going to find that quick headshot. Window player about to die to B Mass, and there is still very much a chance. Mouse Sports hanging on to the real estate as B Mass knocks down yet another piece. And despite Shox's best efforts on the initial peaks, he has to walk away from this one. Seven rounds on the board. Mouse Sports, eight more to go to take us to overtime. Oh, some good damage. It's another round that Mouse Sports win with a, a player disadvantage and they get real disjointed on these executes they're dropping players trying to come into sites asking to lose and then somehow winning on their individual efforts at the end of the round but here there's like bad spacing i want to say with the second player coming out late no one to trade coming out of a different position and the first player coming out up blind as well so i'm not sure if the communication is a little bit off but things are not looking too hot at the moment Off will be given over to Ziwu. I'll have to dig deep for this one. Oh, he hands it back. How nice of him. And there's just not enough room for all the kills that are coming down from the Vitality side. Let's see if Ooh, get that. Oh, okay. Chris J, one step ahead. Yeah, he's got the quickness. Crispy Chris <laughs> and Killer Kerrigan. Brutal B Mass. The three players to rack up some kills early on here. Ruthless Rops coming up. Yep. Followed by Ferocious Frozen. What oh, was it, Crispy Kerrigan? Yeah. No, Killer Kerrigan. <laughs> Crispy Chris. Which Crispy actually Chris. sounds like more of a chocolate bar than a murderer, but. <laughs> yeah. Well, they're both sweet before they kill you. That's One just true. takes longer. Those damn candy bars, they sneak up on you. Vitality, still seven rounds in the lead. Let's be real. Many map points, many match points, excuse me, but uh, not going to be the full-fledged buy this time. Double scout, double deagle, triple deagle, excuse me. All right, let's see if this can work out for them. But uh, obviously, Mouse Sports starting to power up a little. Three T rounds in a row, albeit with an advantage in that last one. And same can be said about this 24th round as well. Three players early on into the tunnels. They've got Kerrigan down and lower. Nevera's going to be activated. And oh, oh, is he ever. Oh, he's out too. Dodges back. Falls Kerrigan. into the B site alongside Apex on the scout, which is now locked into the platform. Oh, they still got a 3B, a 3A, excuse me. Oh, that's quite nasty for Nevera to find that kill and be able to leave as well. Having its cake, eating it too. There's the rotation over towards the A site, but RPK hasn't moved from the pit. You can't write him off in any of these rounds. We'll see what happens. The execute is incoming. Two guys on car cross. Apex. Oh, excuse me. Nope, nope, nope. That's Shocks moving to the top spot. Zewoo's here with the scout, and he's just working it wonderfully, even tagging B-Mass, Deagle doing damage, Shoxy's gonna close it. It's a labored effort in the end, but we all saw it coming. Vitality was such an impeccable first half, giving Mouse Sports a little bit of a chance to roll it back, but I think we saw the defeat in the Mouse Sports camp before that 16th round was ever added. Yeah, 